Uh, my name is Ceci Alcantar. I am from El Paso, Texas. And what was your um, life or training practice like before you met me? <laughs> so I, I dance uh, mostly. Um, and I think when, when you're young and you dance, you don't realize how much you need to work when you're not dancing. So it was kind of a rough uh, thing to realize as a dancer. And so I think as I got older, I started to look for training outside of dance, but I didn't know what to do. Like I didn't know what workout would help me to maintain my body as a dancer. So I would do maybe Zumba. Mm -hmm. uh, I try some like uh, cardio kickboxing stuff. Yeah. Um, some yoga and stuff. Awesome. Cool. And what other classes or training have you done before that didn't quite work for you? I think honestly, Zumba is one of them uh, because I don't remember being told how to use my body. I just, you're just kind of thrown into, it's, I mean, it's fun. Yeah. I think it's mentally fun and socializing good for you. Um, but as far as knowing how to use your body and knowing what muscles to use as you're doing the movement is definitely one of the things I don't remember being um, instructed. Um, I think also like super rough, like I've tried some cross, uh, what is that called? Uh, cross? Uh, CrossFit? CrossFit, yeah. Um, I tried it. Uh, I'm not against it at all. I think it's super fun because it's super challenging. But I think it's also something that you need to really take the time to learn how to do it properly. And you can't just show up and try to do it. Like, I think you need to really learn how your body works out with it. So it didn't work out for me because I didn't know yeah. how to, um, like, how to enter it. Mm -hmm. It definitely takes a lot of, a lot more instruction, a lot more detail, um, especially for and you're a dancer, so you're familiar with like your body and movement. But even with that, CrossFit is a completely separate um, type of type of moving and type of exercises that needs much much more instruction and guidance to be able to do. Yeah, definitely, I agree. <laughs> yeah. Um, as um, my next question is, what made you want to train with me? So I, I think at the time that I met you, um, I had seen posts about you and I think um, I was interested because I would see you in the dance uh, field as well as in the, like the Pilates field. I tried Pilates in Austin, uh, Texas, mm -hmm. and I really liked it, but they were large group Pilates classes. So I wasn't able to benefit as much um, as you would in a smaller class. Mm -hmm. And when I saw that you were actually teaching um, other classes other than dance, I was interested because as a dancer, I was like, she understands, she's gonna understand like my needs um, and kind of know where I come from, like wanting to learn how to use your muscle and mind connection. Yeah. And so that was definitely one of the things that interested me uh, when I saw I think I saw you in the schedule for um, Academy of Ariel. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So that's where I, I that's, that's where I remember I first saw, it and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm really glad that you came to take my class. Um, what What did you like most about my sessions or how I trained? So I remember um, there's a specific movement that I will always remember, and I. You know, you can do it and think you're doing it right, but it's uh, in Pilates. Mm -hmm. um, and I just really appreciate the time that you take to explain the position of the spine, especially in like the back and the neck. Um, and I just remember feeling it like, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like you're, you're kind of on your tailbone and your legs, you're grabbing your ankles and then you rock. Oh, uh, the oh. I, know, I don't know if you remember, like I was able to hold it for the first time and 
we kind of looked at each other like with excitement <laughs> like like yeah like that um so i think it's those like light bulb moments that you appreciate and then you never let them go like now i can practice some pilates at home right now mm -hmm. and those are things that you already that i memorized because you explained it so well mm -hmm. and i'm not afraid to injure myself at home even though it's hard floor like i have tile um so it's just those light bulb moments that you take uh individually with everybody i remember not only doing it with me but you did it with every everybody in the class whatever need that they had you would take the time to explain it yeah. you know for their body awesome well thank you for that um as a um, and after training with me and kind of knowing like my teaching styles, um, what have you gained from training with me and what were the results? So I think I kind of went over on my other answer. Um, but I think what I really appreciate also watching you is that how much it can help you do other things. So you're doing Pilates or you're doing, you know, a more um, hard exercise but I appreciate how you continue to grow with these little adjustments that you do when you're working out or when you're really putting the mind and body to use together. Like, because I watch you do things and I'm like, I know that she can do these things because of the well use of her core. You know what I mean? Your, like your hips, your center. So it's, I like mentally how I know I can, if I can't do something right now or yet, I know that if I continue to practice and put those things into the skill, into practice, I know I can get to do it eventually. Yeah. Like it's not something I'm like, oh no, no, I'll never be able to do that. Yeah. Like I think mentally it helped me to know that if I do it properly and continue to try, I can get to that point where I want to get. Yeah, awesome. Um, well, I'm glad that I can help you do that. That's amazing. Uh, what would you say to someone who is considering training with me? I would tell them to be as open as they can be, be honest, um, because that's the best thing you can do for yourself so that you can get the proper training and the proper help. And I think when you feel comfortable with somebody and not feel like embarrassed because you don't know how to do it right, um, I think that's super important to be able to train and to work with somebody who's willing to help you um, and who has the desire to help other people uh, to get better and to feel better. I mean, that's the reason why we're doing it because we wanna feel better. Um, and it's important to do it with somebody that wants to help you. And I think that's probably some of the best benefits. Awesome. Is there anything else that you would like to share? Um, I really like how you, like the little videos that you've added, mm -hmm. like your second cup of, uh, <laughs> second, yes, second no, cup of I, I'll be cleaning my house and then I just put you on my phone and I connect you to like my TV so I can hear it louder. Yeah. And you'd be surprised how much like you brought your mind is actually paying attention because when I, like when you, I think you explained something about the arch uh -huh. recently and it helped me so much. Like I, I do feel that pain because I overstretch. I actually have more flexibility going backwards than in. Um, so I really appreciate that. I think it's super thoughtful of you. Um, even though some of us might watch it later, not live. I, I just want you to know that I appreciate it. And I think that we should all take the time to, to watch those extra videos um, that you're doing because they're very helpful. Um, and just to continue to stay in touch with you because um, you continue to want to help the community, even though we're not in the same city, mm -hmm. you're still willing to connect as much as possible. And I think I appreciate that. Oh, thank you. I'm really glad that you shared your words and I appreciate like all the kind words that you said. 